It's important that you know how to use your Canvas inbox. If you need help with something or you have a question for your teacher, you should be able to message your teacher and not have to wait for your parents to send a message, especially during remote learning. So right now you're looking at the dashboard of a sample student that is enrolled in Mrs. Casella's technology courses and Ms. Tulio's technology courses. We'll go to the inbox by looking on the left hand side, this black navigation bar, you would click on inbox. This takes you to your inbox. If you would like to see a message that you already sent, you could go to the top here and where it says inbox, you would hit the down arrow and you could go to your sent messages. You could look at your unread messages and other things. You can even search your messages by course. All you would have to do is put your mouse over favorite courses and all of the courses that you are enrolled in would show up here. But let's say you want to send a message to one of your teachers. At the top, you would click on the little pencil to compose a new message. Here, you have to select the course of the teacher you have a question for. Again, you would hit that drop down, put your mouse over favorite courses, and all of the courses that you are enrolled in will show up. Let's say you want to send a question um, for your class second and three second and third grade technology at Lake Tract. You would just click on that. Here in the two section, you would go to this little book with the person. That's the symbol for address book. Click on that. Click on teachers and all of the teachers in this course will show up. If you want to send a message to Ms. Tulio, you would click on Michelle Tulio. If you want to send a message to both teachers, you can click on that again. Click on teachers. And if you want to send a message to Mrs. Casella, you would click on Sandy Casella. It's a good idea to put something in the subject line. Maybe you have a question about the assignment all about me. You could say hello if you wanted to. You could put your teacher's names there. It's not necessary because we can see who it's to. So you would type your message in there. And um, when you're done, you would just hit send. We would then receive that message and get back to you as soon as possible. If you wanted to see that message, again, you could click this drop down, go to sent, and it, you would see it right there. Make sure you use that inbox if you have a question for one of your teachers, especially during remote learning.